Hello and welcome back to The Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I get asked here on YouTube regularly in the comments, but also on my Instagram channel, The Doctor's Garage, um, which is, what is a 0-60 time of my Defender 90 now it has had a stage two remap over it alive? <laughs> Now, I do know standardly these cars put out about 121 brake horsepower and the acceleration is from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 15.1 seconds. I feel personally it's definitely quicker than that, but let's see. I mean, anything feels quicker in this car, to be honest. So let's see how that uh, matches up when we actually do a speed test and I'll time it here on YouTube so you can see exactly how quick this car is to 60 now it's had its stage two remap. So if you don't watch this channel regularly on YouTube, please go ahead and click subscribe. Check out all my other videos about this Defender, about my discovery as well. Actually, it's here on YouTube um, too. So today, let's talk about what I've done to this car so far to get it to where it is performance wise. Um, and that's some parts I fitted myself that you can see in previous videos, like fitting the intercooler, but also some of the work that we did with the live tune to get it to the state that it is today. So right now, I know this car, after being on a dyno, puts out 195 brake horsepower. And that was from a stage two remap that had been done on the ECU, but also having the, the big, massive black alive intercooler in the, in the front grill. So they're the two things I've done to the car to get to where it is. Apart from that performance wise, there's not a lot of other differences. Um, cosmetic, this car looks different to when I bought it, when it was quite a standard uh, van back Defender. I've done a few bits of it to make, as you can see, the windows in the back, for example. Um, but let's have a quick walk around and I'll show you around my car. So inside this car is quite standard. It has this mountainy, I think it's steering wheel, not mono like I originally thought it was. Uh, but it's pretty stock inside. It's got a speaker upgrade, as you can see, the old wiring loom for some lights on the roof that haven't been put on at all. But really, apart from that, it's pretty standard uh, inside. Outside, however, I've done quite a bit to it over the time that I've owned the car. So wheels, tyres. So today we're doing the 0 60 time on these massive SUT Pro Mud terrain tyres, that's obviously going to make a difference. But anyway, let's see how it rides with them today. Um, but apart from that, glossed out a lot of the things like the, uh, like the wheel arches, the roof, cut the windows in the back here, which you can see again on YouTube how I did that if you're interested in doing that to your car yourself. Um, got smoke LEDs, new badging. Got the little live tuning sticker here too. Um, new mud flaps, did all the cross member. And I'm really happy with how this car looks at the moment. Um, it does look like it's going to rain at some point, but let's see if we can get on first and get this 0 60 time done before that happens and uh, compromises our time even more. So performance wise, what I've done, and it's really hard to see even if I un undo the bonnet, but essentially behind there, you might be able to see that black intercooler, which is a full full intercooler. Um, I'll put some videos up while I'm talking on this um, of the of, from from alive. And this intercooler is much, much bigger than the old one. Even doing that on my car before I uh, went ahead and did a stage two remap, made a difference. But um, now it's all together, it makes a massive difference to the performance of the car all put together. Let's go and do a run, let's see how quick the car is to 60. So that was it. So I don't really know what time it was exactly, but I think it was less than 15 seconds. I don't know about how much, maybe a second or so. Um, it felt a lot quicker than that, to be honest. So as everything does in this car, um, I'm not sure if I can smell a little bit of clutch coming through the uh, the vents now, but um, but yeah, that's how quick my car goes in order 60 with the stage two remap. So definitely feels a lot quicker. And I think the biggest difference for me is not necessarily that Nord 60 time or, or whatever the top speed, because if I'm really honest, the top speed's kind of unchanged. You know, you, you can cruise at um, 70 or 80 if you want, but really it's not that comfortable, so I never would. I'd probably still drive at like 50 to 60 because that's the most comfortable this car is at. Just sort of the wind noise, the way it kind of moves on the road, it, it just feels better, slower speed. Probably the off-road tires don't really help with that. But I think the biggest difference for station move map for me is just the general town driving. So acceleration off from start up to 30 miles per hour to get going in traffic and keep up, it makes such a difference uh, with 
with. So that's where the biggest benefit is. But I think the 0 to 60 question has been asking me so many times on YouTube and Instagram that I just thought I had to do this video to show you guys what that was in this car and also show myself as well. How quick is this car to 60? Because it's not something I've tested before. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been interesting to see that. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below and uh, I'll see you soon here on YouTube.